I am going to reveal the exact ChatGPT prompts that you can use and maximize your results using Facebook ads. When it is properly used, you could literally take your mediocre Facebook ads and turn them into a very profitable and lasting ad campaigns. For this particular video, to make it very easy to consume and like a, as a step-by-step -step process, I'm gonna give you the four main things that we have to tackle and once we get it done and by the end we finish this video you'll know exactly the prompts that you need to use to have those more profitable and more lasting Facebook ad campaigns. And the first very important thing that we have to tackle and where we can use the ChatGPT for, this is like a cornerstone, this is where you know your business starts building up is the customer and the topic or industry research that you are right now positioned in. At this phase, you want to ask yourself a basic question mm. that every single business owner must ask himself or herself before starting a business. What kind of problem am I going to solve with my particular product? So if we go to ChatGPT right away, the first prompt that we could write down is something like, what are going to be some of the main problems or let's say concerns? Everything that I will put in the brackets is gonna be customized for the product that you're going to sell. For this particular example, let's use a, a very simple product such as a hoodie. So let's say that what are some main problems, you know, a hoodie can bring to, you want to pick a very particular niche that you could serve because it's much easier to differentiate yourself when you speak to a niche rather than just going very broad because at the time it's very difficult to differentiate yourself. So let's say hypothetically that we want to go after millennials who are into baseball. A question, you know, that we could ask ChatGPT is going to be something in the line of what are some of the, you know, problems or concerns a hoodie, right, the product that we're selling can bring to, let's say, millennials who are looking to impress the opposite gender. And after that, ChatGPT, as you can see, it gives us some really good actually answers on how to approach and how to come up with these problems that we can actually solve that your competition might not actually address. And another thing here that we want to approach still at this phase of understanding our customer is what are their actually main desires? So we found out like the main problems, but also something very powerful that we could use in our marketing campaigns further as we're growing our business is the desires that we want to help our potential customers see in the product that you're going to sell. If we take the example with a hoodie, like we did previously, let's say that we could ask something in the line of millennials who are into hoodie and want to impress girls. Let's say hypothetically that this is their main desire that they want to achieve using your product. So by inserting a question like this, and of course it depends on your niche, it depends on you know your customer's desires, you'll just need to rechange it based on your customers and this is why it's very important. The first thing that we do is understanding our customers' pain points and desires. And still here at this stage we are trying to figure out our ideal customer with their pain points, their desires. And now a thing that we could ask ChatGPT to improve our Facebook ads is something very important that yet a lot of business owners neglect is understanding the customer language. Every single niche, every single industry has a specific kind of verbiage that your customers are using. What I've seen from my experience is that by using their specific language, specific, you know, verbiage or words, we could resonate with that customer at a deeper level and now we could connect with them and now they're more likely to, you know, go to your website and find out more information about your business, about your mission and eventually buy something from you. So if we are in the ChatGPT and we ask something like, let's say, what kind of verbiage millennials who are into baseball because these are the customers that we are trying to reach right now but of course you're going to change based on the customers that you want to reach also what we could do is give me a couple of examples on top of that here we go like 
As you can see, we've got some really good examples that we could use both for ad copies, for our ad creatives, let's say as, you know, a text overlay or for the briefs for, you know, some scripts for our content creators as well. Now, another facet that we could use and harness the ChatGPT for is not only the customer research, but, but also on top of it, the competitor research. If back then, I had to spend a lot of time on first of all getting to know their competitors and finding those competitors now all you have to do is just write the right prompt and you're gonna get five ten competitors that are actually kind of like make sense to your brand because the last thing that you want to do is take one of the biggest of the biggest competitors out of there and copy what they are doing because what happens is they are not at the stage where you are right now. So even though it can work for them, it cannot work for your brand because of many reasons such as like social proof is or doesn't make sense the message that they are having right there where the unique selling propositions are not aligned with your brand, your like your mission on top of that. All of that actually is really important when you actually choose the competitors that you look up to and the competitors that you get inspired from. So this is why it is so important to take the time and make sure that when you're using ChatGPT is to ask the right prompt that is gonna give you the right type of competitors that you could look at and get inspired from. The competitors that actually will make sense to your brand to analyze and get some more information for you know for the future information for the future insights that you could use for improving your ads or for improving your message or for improving your like business and your website what i would personally suggest is to go and find three to five main competitors that you could constantly go back and see what they are doing with their message with their website and their organic posts as well and circling back to ChatGPT and how you could use it at this particular stage what we can do is if we go to ChatGPT and ask something like let's say i need to find three to five competitors in again in our case in the baseball niche that sell let's say uh, again your product that in our case baseball clothes and accessories tell us also like some of your unique selling points they will come up with that like ChatGPT is very very good at this and as you can see they can come up with all these answers and now you could literally go to their website to their business to their ads and see what they are doing and get inspired from them now it's the time to take all this information and start writing the copies the primary text the headlines and also the briefs, the things that actually will be said in the video or on the image itself. Package all these creatives all together and roll it out in the Facebook Ads Manager. But before you do that, you have to ask yourself a very insightful and meaningful question that will lead you to whether you're going to get sales or not. And that question will sound something like this. What stage are you currently at with your ad budget? Are you spending right now $50 per day? Are you spending $200 per day? Are you spending like $500? Or are you spending $2,000 per day? Because the amount you are spending in your ads manager will actually make a huge difference when what kind of creatives, what kind of messages, what kind of copies you have to write so you could resonate with the next you know potential customer base big big fact the amount you are investing currently in your facebook ads manager telling you exactly how big or how you know much you are resonating currently with your facebook ads if you are spending 500 dollars per day and you cannot bypass that number that means that you're not resonating with the broad enough audience and again here's the thing that back then it took us many many hours to understand like how we could resonate with broader and broader audiences while we can keep the budget higher and higher and we can get a profitable return on net spend but now frankly with ChatGPT, by using the right prompt and asking them very direct questions and giving them a very specific criteria you could actually create ads that will resonate and appeal to broader audiences so something that we could use 
you know, a prompt that you could copy and paste after watching this, it's gonna be something like this. So what we need to do is we have to be specific with the amount that we're spending right now. And here, the part where you'll have to change based on what you're spending currently. So let's say that right now I am spending just hypothetically $100 per day and I get, let's say, 3x return net spend. But every single time I increase the budget, the ads just become kind of unprofitable. And this is something that I've seen that happens quite often with different brands that reach out to me. The question that we can ask here is how can I make my ads more appealing that speaks to, pro to a product aware or solution aware market. Now, if you don't know anything about the market awareness levels, this is a huge topic, but essentially if you are not profitable, with every single time when you're increasing the budget, that means that you have to move up to another stage of awareness that is broader and appeals to that audience. So here, let's say that we could say something like, craft me a Facebook ad headline and a primary text. And also you could add also, I don't know, let's say uh, a video script, depending on your needs, that sells, again, our product that you will change, in our case, let's say, baseball clothes and accessories, and tries to sell, in this case, to, let's say, hypothetically, problem aware market. But there are also some, let's say, unaware market or solution aware or product or most aware. Depending on where you've been kept, you're going to change this uh, based on your needs. A question that you might have, okay, Archie, but how do I pick which market awareness should I choose? And this kind of depends a lot on the way you've been capped. If you've been capped, let's say, at the most aware market, which is the smallest audience that you could reach and kind of resonate with, but in that case, it's very simple. You, you move up to the another stage of market awareness, which in our case is going to be the product aware. And here, all you have to do now is just change the message that will resonate with a product aware market segment. And you are doing this constantly until you get to the unaware market, which is the broadest one to get to, and the hardest one to convert, but it is the most kind of broadest that you could appeal to and scale your business much farther. Now, once we've done the topic research, the customer research, the competitor research, the next thing is to create all those briefs. You have to know very, very well your customer in and out better than they do. Now, the next thing is just simply to create the video briefs. And for that, I have a script for ChatGPT as well that I want to provide to you. And something that you know, I use is gonna be something in the line of, let's say I want to run a video ad for, again, here in the brackets, you'll put your ideal customer that you want to reach, in our case, millennials who are into baseball accessories, and they are problem aware of their need, right? You also want to say to ChatGPT what kind of stage of market awareness your customers are. And then we'll ask, craft me, uh, Facebook video ad brief, having, maybe not having a person, this is not mandatory, talking to camera. So make sure to use their communication style, something that we discussed before about their communication verbiage, and make sure that we use, like I said, their communication style and include as many B-rolls as possible that we need to get and to provide for the content creator if it is kind of like necessary to improve our ads. And honestly, ChatGPT is doing a really, really good job with this. And now it's the time to put together pieces of puzzles in place, launch in the Facebook Ads Manager and monitor how your new ads are going to perform, whether they are going to be profitable or not in the next three, five days and then make all the adjustments based on the things that you monitored so far. Now, if you wanna find out how to properly launch and deploy new Facebook ad creatives when you are creating some ads out there and you want to put it and scale your business, then I have a proper video explaining how to do that in the right way. Click over here and I will talk to you very soon. And by the way, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and as usual, I am cheering you on.